War and Peace. I'm Michelle, this is Angel Souls, and these are angelic messages. So we're breaking it down by day. Make sure you're watching the other dailies, watch the weekly. There's a lot of intense information coming through and things that you'll want to be forewarned about. So that's not fear mongering, it's a heads up, okay? So war and peace. Again, I, I feel like this is more of that splitting energy. I was talking yesterday about how we're starting to get into our real selves, our authentic selves. How many of us have almost gone off of a spiritual path because we got tired of the ridicule? Or in my case, I almost, and I've said this so many times, but I almost stopped angel souls because I was seeing so many people carrying darkness, but posing as the light, coming out on things like social media platforms, and people were eating it up. And as I'm standing back here going, this ain't good. What do you think I got? What, what, what's, the, <laughs> what's the easy little brainwashing narrative someone could throw at me? Oh, you're jealous. You're bitter. You're this, you're that. No, I'm concerned. Not just that there are people out there trying to manipulate. Some of them do have gifts. So manipulating those gifts to just become rich, I guess. I don't know if you, um, are people becoming rich from doing this? Good on you. It doesn't mean that they're awful people if they make a lot of money off them. I'm not trying to imply that. But some people think that they will become rich if they can just get out here and get these quote unquote dummies to just believe whatever they're saying. And people were falling for it. That was the more disturbing part. And the people who are truth speakers who have been trying to warn people, trying to get them to do what needs to be done with their spiritual practice, to open up to it, to call whatever the heck you want. doesn't matter. But make sure you're raising that frequency so that you can be kind and loving. You know, some of the biggest thought leaders out there. And some of them are on social media. I'm thinking of a couple of examples. They are marketers. They're not real practitioners. But you think they are. You follow them. I guarantee you, you follow them. I've heard some of you say, I love insert person's name here. They're so inspiring. That's the marketing. Now, it's okay to be inspired. It's okay to be sure watch that stuff if it, like I said, if it does inspire you. But if you, if you have to keep going back to them for your inspiration, you're not learning anything. It's going to be interesting. And I think a lot of us are just sitting back. I'm not, I'm not going to say grabbing the popcorn and watching what happens because I don't, I don't wish for anyone's demise. And that, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help anybody. But what I would like to see would be people waking up and realizing what is of actual value and wanting that value for themselves. Now, I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about like I can think of, again, I'm in the social media world. So I can think of a couple of examples of very authentic readers, astrologers, tarot readers, other angel mediums, psychics who are really good at what they do. And no one listens to them because there's someone louder, maybe more obnoxious and it's sort of interesting to see what they're going to say next <laughs> right or someone who's uh sort of tapping into our fears that's the warm piece it's the split and you might have some massive revelation this week even today but in the coming days as well where you have gone off path in that way. Who have you been listening to? Did they actually add value to your life? Some of it's downright culty. And not authentic. It's not grounded. It's, yeah. So are you going to be at war or are you going to be at peace? It's up to you. 
angelsouls444.com. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.